Spicer, Matthew Pagani, James Pember, Neha Peretti, and Barsha Kumar. All right, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Game two of the series this week. Mavericks taking on Vandegrift Vipers again, this time at Viper Field or Venom Field over here at Vandegrift High School. Just getting ready to get started here. Mavs lost the first game of the series on Tuesday by a pretty large deficit. Hoping to change things, turn things around this game. Starting pitcher for Vandegrift, left-hander Connor Freeman. And he is taking his warm-ups here and he will get ready to face the top of the Mavericks order starting off with Ramsey Simpson, center fielder. Pretty nice night out here, a little bit of wind blowing out towards left field. So we got 323 in the corner and left, 325 in right, and 380 in center. Sun's starting to go down, light's starting to come on here at uh, Venom Field. All right, getting ready to get, get started here. Ramsey Simpson leaves off. Simpson one for four on Tuesday. He looks at the first pitch called strike to get the game started. Next pitch, another called strike. Catches the outside corner. O2 breaking ball, bounces in the dirt, misses for ball. 1-2 the count here to leadoff hitter Simpson. He'll be followed by <coughs> second base of Jack Goins. And then batting third, shortstop Ryan Vosick. One two pitch swung on, fouled back into the net. Simpson, one of the members of the all left handed outfield here tonight for the Mavericks. Next pitch swung on, line drive. Good play by the shortstop Simon Baker, makes the grab in the air for the first out. So Simpson is retired for the first out of the inning. Brings up number two hitter Jack Goins.
First pitch fastball runs outside, misses for ball one. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. One one pitch looks like a change up there, swung out and missed. Strike two. So left hander Freeman working ahead early here in the game. Comes a one two pitch. Breaking ball in there, called strike three. So first two batters retired here for the Mavericks in the top of the first. Brings up the shortstop and number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick, slider misses a little low and outside for ball. Next pitch fastball, misses a little high and out. Pitch swung on, fouled, grounded back to the screen. Pretty good uh, crowd out here tonight at Venom Field. Both sides of the stands as well as the middle area here filled up pretty good. And the 2-1 pitch to Vosick. Misses low and inside, ball three. Three one pitch swung on, popped in the air, foul. First baseman a couple steps over in foul territory and makes the catch, and that will end the inning. So Mavs go in order: one, two, three. No runs, no hits. Heading to the bottom of the first. Vandegrift Vipers coming in for their first at bats. We'll be right back. All right, starting defense for the Mavericks here. First baseman, Jackson Collins. Second base, Jack Goings. Ryan Vosick is short. Xander Kovar gets the call up. And uh, we'll be starting at third base tonight. Left field, James Morio. Center field, Ramsey Simpson. Right field, Brandon Morio. Catcher tonight, the junior, Wyatt Newman. And starting pitcher, the senior left-hander, Chris Windesman. And Windesman will get ready to face... Leadoff hitter Jackson Lors for the Vipers. First pitch to Lors, fastball misses high and inside, ball one. It'll be Lors followed by a third baseman Lilly and then the catcher Braden Buchanan. Next 
Next pitch, fastball runs back in, catches the outside corner for called strike. One one pitch, swung on ground ball, gets past the first baseman Jackson Collins and into right field for a leadoff single. So Lures is aboard to start off the bottom of the first. Brings up third baseman number 15, Hudson Lilly. Lilly squares around a bunt, lays it down, but it rolls foul over the first baseline. Vipers use plenty of small ball. Back on Tuesday, waited till about middle middle of the game to start uh, showing it, but so now they're going to bring it out, show it to us early here, and that will draw the third baseman Kovar up on the grass. Lily doesn't square around this time; just looks at ball one that misses a little inside and tight. Next pitch swung on ground ball, fielded by the shortstop Vosick, flips over to the th second base, gets the force at second, but throw is not in time at first. So Lures is forced out on the fielder's choice. Lily safe at first. That's one away now, brings up the catcher, number five, Braden Buchanan. Takes a long look over at first base there, the runner Lily. Very long look, and ultimately Buchanan steps out and calls time. First pitch Buchanan, fastball, looked pretty good. Must have missed a little bit low, ball one. Wins have been doing a good job of inducing ground balls here to start off the inning. Next pitch swung on, fly ball into right field. Right fielder Morio makes a couple of steps to his right and makes the grab. And Lily will retreat back to first base on the fly ball there. So that'll make it two outs. And that brings up the Vandegrift starting pitcher, number two, Connor Freeman. First pitch, Freeman, good fastball in there. Called strike one. Next pitch swung on, ground ball, bounding ball right to second baseman uh, Goins. Throws over to first in time, and that will end the inning. So after a leadoff single, the Vipers go down one, two, three. No runs, one hit. We head to the top of the second inning. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Mavericks. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the top of the second inning, first baseman Jackson Collins. Collins in the cleanup spot tonight. Like first pitch fastball misses a little bit inside. Next pitch fastball catches the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch swung on hard ground ball goes right up the middle into center field for a leadoff base hit. Good leadoff single there by Collins. There's a little little bit of concern. He was uh, hit by a pitch right on the kind of soft spot of the inner part of his uh, right elbow on Tuesday. Looked a little swollen and nasty through, uh, throughout the rest of the week here, but uh, he shows he's back and ready to rock. Starts off the bottom, top of the second inning with a single. That brings up the pitcher, Chris Windesman. He squares around to bunt. And on the, uh, it was a breaking ball and he missed. Looks like it's ball one. And then there was a snap throw down by the catcher, Buchanan, to try to catch Collins leading off first, but he's back in time. Windisman squares around to bunt again. Bunt down to third base. They're going to throw over down to second base. And looks like they are going to get Collins on the force at second. So a good heads-up play by the third baseman, Lilly. Windisman safe on the fielder's choice there. And it'll be one out. And that'll bring up number 29, designated hitter Caleb Crail. Third baseman Lilly still hanging out right on the edge of the infield grass here in case Crail lays down another bunt. He does not square around. Looks like called strike one. Next pitch. Good breaking ball in there for called strike two. Own to the count to Crail. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on a miss, strike three. Second strikeout of the night so far for Vandegrift pitcher Freeman. Two away now. And that brings up the right fielder, Brandon Morio. And we're going to have a <coughs> courtesy runner for our pitcher. Chris Minnesman will come back into the dugout. Number 22, Ryan Shook is now the courtesy runner for him at first base. And the home plate umpire has to catch up with that change there. There's a little notebook. Good to go. And two outs, one on. Here comes the first pitch to the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Fastball in there on the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch got a piece of it, fouled it back to the screen. It'll be an 0 2 count. Given the pitching pattern so far for Freeman and I, I'm going to go ahead and gamble. There's going to be a breaking ball coming in here on the inside corner. See what happens. Sure enough, plunks him. Hit him in the hands. Looks like there was an appeal down there to see if he, tried, if he actually swung on the hit-by-pitch there, but field umpire says no he did not so that will make it runners on first and second now with two outs 
left fielder and left-hand hitting James Morio comes to the plate now. And he takes a hack of the first pitch and fouls it back into the net out of play. A one pitch, ground ball just outside of the third base line. And goes out into the fence foul. So it'll be another 0-2 count. Here with two outs. And we'll see if we see that same breaking ball to the outside corner. Sure enough, there it is, and freezes Morio, strike three. Third strikeout of the night for Freeman. That ends the inning. Mavs put two aboard, but leave him stranded on one hit and a hit by pitch. Still no score. We head to the bottom of the second. All right, folks, we have some Five, six, seven hitters due up for the Vipers. We'll be right back. All right, five, six, seven hitters due up for the Vipers here in the bottom of the second. Leading off will be the center fielder, Cade Cunningham. First pitch to Cunningham, fastball misses a little bit high and outside for ball one. Still no score, one hit apiece so far this game. Next pitch swung on, fouled back out of play behind the press box. One ball, one strike, the count to Cunningham. Next pitch, fastball in there for call strike two. Cunningham will be followed by the designated hitter, M.D. Connor, and then shortstop Simon Baker this inning. Comes the 1-2 pitch. Good breaking ball. Misses just a little bit low and outside. Counter go to 2-2. Two and two. And Cunningham calls time on the Long pause by the Mavericks pitcher, Windesman. Comes a 2-2 delivery. Swung on, fouled, popped up, back out of play.
Comes another 2-2 pitch. Good breaking ball swung on a miss. Strike three. First strikeout tonight for Mavs pitcher Windesman. And one out here in the bottom of the second. That brings up designated hitter number 23, M.D. Connor. Holds back on a first pitch breaking ball. They appeal down to first base umpire, but he doesn't appear to be interested in an opinion there. So it'll be ball one. Pitch fastball. Tried to run in a little bit late towards the end there, but still missed ball two. Two zero -oh pitch in there, right over the heart of the plate for strike one. Just notice this, and you, folks, you probably can't see it on the video, but there's a very interesting kind of a divot down the first base line right when you get into the infield or outfield grass. And the next 2-1 pitch plunks Connor right on the knee. So he will head down with a one-out hit by pitch. Connor's going to stretch out a little bit there, but it looks like he's fine after that hit by pitch to the knee. So he stands on first base now with one out. That brings up the shortstop, <coughs> number three, Simon Baker. Third baseman Kovar playing up on the grass, anticipating bunt. And he, lays, he squares around, but bunts it foul. So it'll be an 0 1 count. Pretty good lead for Connor over there on first. We'll see if Windesman motion is over. Does not. Squares around to bunt again. Offers at it. And a good snap throw down to first, but not in time. Uh, should be an 0-2 count, yes. So the umpire said that Baker did offer at that pitch with the missed bunt. So be no balls, two strikes to Baker. And he throws over to first, got him leaning, and they got him. Winsman lifted his leg, and Connor just took that first kind of hesitant step towards second, then tried to get back to first, and it was too late. So Connor picked off, second out of the inning, nobody on now, two outs, and an 0-2 count to the hitter Baker. Good breaking ball. Just about everybody on the Mavericks defense started walking back to the dugout, but it, umpire says it just missed. And despite what the scoreboard says out in left field, the count is actually one ball, two strikes. They've caught up now. Next pitch swung on, lofted into the air in right field. Morio over to make the grab, and he overruns it, and it's going to get down in fair territory. Baker on his way to third, and he will be in with a two-out two out hit that is likely to go down as an error on the miscue there by Brandon Morio out in right field. Morio had to come a long way over there, had to hustle over to get it, but uh, just a little bit too much steam there, overran it, and it, one of those balls that just dropped a few feet inside the fair line down right field side. So Baker now stands at third with two outs, brings up the first baseman, Thomason. And he looks at a first pitch fastball, catches the outside corner for called strike. A one pitch, another good fastball, a lot of arm side run there, swung on a miss, strike two. <laughs> a 
0-2 pitch. Another fastball swung on a miss, strike three. So the two out error does not hurt. Mavs work out of that inning. No runs, no hits. Two base runners, but neither of them come around. Still no score as we head to the top of the third. Number nine, due up for the Mavericks, then back to the top of the order. We'll be right back. All right, catcher Wyatt Newman will lead it off for the Mavs here in the top of the third. Uh, no, it's not Chris Winnesman, it's the catcher Wyatt Newman. First pitch to Newman, fastball in there for a called strike. Newman was uh, one for three against the Vipers here on last Tuesday. After the Mavs wrap up this series against Vandegrift, they will face Round Rock in two-game series next week. As Newman looks at a 0-1 breaking ball, misses a little bit outside. One more pitch swung on, lofted into the right center field, but right fielder comes over a couple of steps to his right and makes the grab. Hung up just a little bit too long, going against the not a lot of wind, but just enough wind to keep kept it uh, up in the air there. So Newman flies out for the first out. We're back to the top of the order with Ramsey Simpson. Simpson lined out to shortstop back in the first inning. First pitch to Simpson. Slider misses outside and low. One old pitch is swung on, fouled back out of play. It's one one pitch swung on, fouled directly back into the net. One ball, two strikes. And predictably, on that two-strike pitch, that hard breaking ball comes in and misses a little bit inside. So it'll be two balls, two strikes. And Simpson calls time. Comes a 2 2 pitch. Another hard slider there. Simpson checked his swing. Did not go around. So the count will go full. And it comes a 3 2 pitch. Misses inside, ball four. So Simpson is aboard with a one out walk here in the top of the third. 
Brings up second base of Jack Goins. 73 degrees out here, clear skies. Winds only blowing about 8 miles an hour. Going swings in the first pitch. Pop fly, shallow right field. Right fielder is coming in, and he makes the grab. Just a few steps behind second base for the second out of the inning. So two away, and that brings up the number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. Vosick popped out to first in his first at bat. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. A one pitch swung on, fouled right back into the screen. No balls and two strikes, count to Vasek. Here with two outs and Ramsey Simpson, the runner at first. Oh, two fastball. This is far outside. Catcher Buchanan was set up pretty far in the, over towards the other batter's box. One two pitch. Another one of those breaking balls swung on, fouled back, spoiled by Vasek. One two pitch. Another one of those breaking balls just misses inside. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swung on ground ball. Fielded by the shortstop Baker. Throws over to second base to get the force on Simpson, and that will end the inning. So Mavs leave one strand of the inning, no runs, no hits. Still no score as we head to the bottom of the third. Vipers coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, number nine hitter, then back to the top of the Vipers order due up this inning. Leading off will be the second baseman, number 13, Clayton Moore. First pitch to Moore, he squares around a bump, pulls back. Pitch misses high and outside for ball one.
Next pitch from Mrs. High outside again. Ball two. And the one's three straight, then missed a little high and out. So more looking at a 3-0 count here to start off the bottom of the third. And next pitch is to get me over called strike. Three one pitch. Good breaking ball just misses a little on outside. And Moore is aboard with the leadoff walk here in the bottom of the third. Brings us back to the top of the order. For Vandegrift, leadoff hitter and right fielder Jackson Lores comes up. Lores was safe or on a uh, ground ball that escaped the first baseman back in the uh, first inning. Swings to the first pitch, fly ball in the center field. Simpson over a couple of steps to his right, makes the catch on the run. And Moore heads back to first base and does not tag up. So one away, now brings up the third baseman, Hudson Lilly. Lilly reached on a fielder's choice in the first. A couple other scores from around the district. Round Rock leading Hutto by a score of 3-0 in the bottom of the fifth. Stony Point ahead of Westwood by a score of 3-1 to in the bottom of the fourth. Runner goes in the first pitch. Pitch is a called strike, and the throw is not going to be in time. And Moore is in at second with a stolen base. And we will see if they don't try to bunt here and try to get more over to third. Nope, swinging away. Another fly ball, line drive into center field. Simpson coming in, makes the grabs. Runner, runner kind of went very far, thinking the ball was going to drop. And Simpson just overthrows second base there to try to get him on the force. But uh, he's back in time. So back-to-back -back fly outs to center field. Makes it two outs. Moore held up at second. Brings up number 300, Braden Buchanan. Buchanan flew out to right field in his first at-bat today. First pitch to Buchanan, fastball misses high and out for ball one. Next pitch, fastball catches the outside corner, called strike. Next pitch swung on ground ball. It's going to be foul, third base side. So, Winnism in ahead here, working 1 2 with two outs, runner on second. comes the 1-2 pitch. Swung on. Long fly ball. Foul territory. That's going to be out of play. Comes another one two pitch to Buchanan. Breaking ball swung on, just chopped foul. Picked up by the Mavs assistant coach Hiram Drum.
showing off his arm strength and bouncing that ball back to his own pitcher on the throwback. <laughs> One ball, two strikes, the count still. One, two, fastball, misses high and out. been motions over to second baseman. Two two pitch. Swung on. Line drive comebacker right into the glove of Windesman. Good reflex good reflexive action there by Windesman to get the line drive and end the inning. So Vipers leave one stranded, no runs, just one walk. Managed to make it to second base, but that's as far as it goes. Head into the top of the fourth. Still no score here. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Mavericks. We'll be right back. All right, Jackson Collins set to lead off the top of the fourth inning here. Collins with a hit so far tonight, and he's only at bat. And he looks at a fastball over the plate for called strike one. Both pitchers working pretty efficiently here tonight. Through three complete, Winsman 42 pitches. Freeman at 44. Right. Collins fouls that next pitch back and out of play. It's the 0-2 pitch. Goes to a fastball inside this time. Count goes to one and two. And then there's that breaking ball. Almost hits him on the shins. So Collins working back. 2-2 two -two count now. This pitch fastball misses outside. And we're all the way back to full boat. Three two pitch. Swung on ground ball. Soft one fielded by the third baseman. Lily throws over in time to get Collins on the ground out in the first out of the inning. 
Good play by Lily there. It's real one of those soft choppers, hung up in the air kind of high. Third baseman Lily came over in his shortstop territory in the grass and made the play. <clears throat> so one away brings up pitcher Chris Windsman. Windsman reached on a fielder's choice back in the second inning in his only appearance. And first pitch breaking ball misses high and inside. Looks like we have some activity up in the uh, Mavericks bullpen. And next pitch. Good attempt at framing there by the catcher Buchanan, but misses outside and high. Ball two. Got a right-hander and a left-hander up in the uh, Mavs bullpen there. Next pitch, fastball in there for a called strike. 2-1 to count to Winsman. Nobody on, one out. Next pitch swung on, fouled, back out of play. And the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball, throws him. In there, called strike three. Strikeout number four for Freeman tonight. Two away. Brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail. Crail struck out in his only appearance so far tonight as he swings the first pitch and fouls it off. Looks like the umpire took the brunt of that one. Catcher Buchanan walks out to the mound to give the umpire some time to regather himself. Looks like he's all right. So 0-1 count to Crail. The next pitch fastball misses low. Looks like we've got the left-hander Tim Calderon and right-hander Dom Escamilla up in the Mavericks bullpen. As the next pitch slider to Crail misses outside. Two balls, one strike to count. Next pitch swung on, ground ball, third base side, but it's going to roll foul. Two-two pitch, another one of those two-strike breaking balls. Swung on by Crail, just got a piece of it and fouled it back to the screen. So we'll stay alive with another two-two count. Number seven hitter Brandon Morio stands on deck. Should Crail find a way to reach base here? And the two-two pitch, another one of those sliders misses inside. Full count now. Looks like the wind's picked up a little bit, still blowing out towards left field side. Both flags now rustling that way. And good at bat for Crail there as he looks at ball four. Two out walk for Crail. And that will bring up right fielder Brandon Morio. Morio reached in his first appearance tonight on a hit by pitch. And he swings to the first pitch, fastball, fouls it back to the screen. A one pitch swung on, fouled sharply out of play, just over the top of the uh, Vandegrift dugout on the right field side. So 0-2 count to Morio. 
And we will see, folks. Will the two strike breaking ball on the inside part of the plate be coming up here? It is not. It was a straight fastball, it looked like. Morio fouls it back into the screen, stays alive. Comes another 0-2 pitch. There was that breaking ball. Fouls it. Just got a piece of it. Fouled it straight down, looked like. Pretty good lead for Crail at first. And the next pitch is breaking ball in there on the outside corner this time for called strike three. So Mavs leave one stranded on a walk that inning. No runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still tied up at 0-0 here at Venom Field. We'll be right back. All right, starting pitcher for the Vipers, Connor Freeman, will lead it off this inning. Freeman with a ground out to second in his only appearance tonight. And he swings to the first pitch, lofts a fly ball into left field. Morio over a couple of steps to his right and makes the grab. So one pitch, one quick out. Here in the bottom of the fourth, that'll bring up the center fielder, Cunningham struck out in his only appearance so far tonight. Yeah, first pitch to Cunningham is a fastball on the outside part of the plate for called strike one. Kind of flashes bunt there, pulls back, and it's a slider that misses a little outside and low. So it'll be one ball, one strike. Still just one hit apiece. The next pitch misses high and outside, ball two. One hit each, and uh, one error on McNeil. And that's about the story on the scoreboard so far, folks. Next pitch swung on, lined into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit.
So a one-out single for Cunningham. And that'll bring up designated hitter M.D. Connor, who reached on a hit-by-pitch back in the second inning. Swings the first pitch, lofts a line drive into left field. That's going to get down for another single. And back-to-back -back singles now. With one out, puts runners on first and second. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Simon Baker. Baker made it all the way to third on a fly ball that was uh, miscued by the right fielder. He squares around to bunt, lays it down. It's a good bunt down the third base line. Picked up by the first third baseman, and it's offline. Goes all the way to the fence. So one run's going to score. Another run's going to come around. And he's going to score safely as well. So two runs score on the bunt. And Baker makes it all the way to second. And the Vipers strike first here in the bottom of the fourth and put up two. And they have a runner on second. And that brings up the first baseman, Thomason, struck out in his first at bat. He squares around a bunt, and he tries to dodge the pitches. It was, came in kind of high and tight, but uh, he left his bat out there, so umpire says he went around. So it's called strike on Thomason. First baseman Collins now playing on the grass, seeing that bunt. He squares around, bunts it first base side, fielded by the first baseman Collins. Second baseman Goings is over there, and he they make the throw over successfully to get Thomas in at first. Baker does advance to third. On the play. And it'll now be two outs. Runner on third. And number nine hitter Clayton Moore comes up. Moore with a walk and a stolen base so far tonight. Looks at a first pitch fastball for a called strike. Next pitch swung on line drive right to the first baseman. Collins makes the grab, and that will end the inning. But the score. The 0-0 zero zero knot is broken. Vandergriff puts up two runs on a couple of hits. And some chaos caused by an infield bunt. Mavs coming up to bat here at the top of the fifth, chasing two runs. Vandergriff ahead, 2-0. We'll be right back.
Left fielder James Moria will lead it off here for the Mavs in the top of the fifth inning. So it'll be Morio, the catcher Wyatt Newman, and then back to the top of the order. And the first pitch to Morio is a breaking ball that breaks right into the square of his back. So he will be aboard with a first pitch hit by pitch. And that'll bring up the catcher, Wyatt Newman. Newman flew out to right field in his only at bat so far tonight. And we will see if the bunt is on. Third baseman Lily already up pretty significantly on the third base grass, anticipating it. Newman takes a big hack at the first swing instead and misses strike one. Just one hit so far for the Mavs tonight. And Freeman throws over to first base. Morio now on a very aggressive lead. And he's back safely. A one pitch to Newman. Swung on, chopped foul, third base side. Out of play. So 0 and 2, the count to Newman. Breaking ball, swung on a miss, strike three. Six strikeout for Vipers pitcher Freeman tonight. And that brings us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson steps in. Simpson with a line out and a walk. So far tonight. First pitch misses high. And then another quick move over to first. Morio's back in time. Van Griff def defense believes the bunt is off. Everyone back playing normal position. Simpson works at another pitch. Misses a little bit inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Next pitch swung on. Lofted in the air in a shallow left center field. Center fielder's all the way over <laughs> into basically right in front of the left fielder there. Makes the grab. And so the fly out by Simpson makes it two outs now. And Jack Goen steps in. Goen's looking for his first hit tonight. Fly out and a strikeout. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. Next pitch fastball gets away from the catcher and goes back to the screen. So Moria will advance easily to second base. So runner in scoring position now for the Mavs. Here with two outs. And here comes the 1-1 pitch to Goins. Misses high. Ball two. Get a ball that finds a little grass here. It might be, might be just enough to score Morio. 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball misses. Gets away from the catcher, but Morio was not going to advance. Three and one. The count to Goins. Got a big gap between first and second base. So first baseman and second baseman. 
Ooh, next pitch is swung on. Deep drive that's going to get all the way out to the fence. Out in left field. Bounces off the wall. Goins with good speed. He's going to get to second base, and Morio scores on the RBI double with two outs here for Jack Goins. And the Mavs now pull within one. Goins. Goins got a kind of a high inside fastball there and just turned his hips on it and had about a two hopper all the way out to the fence out there in left field about 323. So he stands on second with two outs. That brings up Ryan Vosick who looks at ball one. Fastball misses outside. Next pitch, good late breaking ball. Comes back in, catches the outside corner for call strike one. <clears throat> Next pitch, swung on, slow rolling ground ball, fielded by the third baseman Lilly, and it is going to be in time to get Vasek, and that will end the inning. But the Mavs strike back. Put up one run on the RBI double by Jack Goins. Score Vandegrift 2, McNeil 1 as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll be right back. All right, two to one to score here in the bottom of the fifth. Back to the top of the order for the Vipers. Leadoff hitter Jackson Lohr stands in. One for two with a single and flew out to center field. Swings the first pitch, lofts a fly ball. Center fielder Ramsey Simpson on the run over. Ooh, makes it a little more dramatic and interesting than it probably needed to be. and uh, But does make the grab kind of in the gap in left center field for the first out. Definitely caught some of that wind up there. Left-handed hitting lures. Just kind of launched it into the air. That wind blown left field side. Carried it over a little bit. But uh, Simpson with some good tracking speed and made the grab. So one pitch, one out. Brings up third baseman Hudson Lilly. Lilly over two with a fielder's choice and a fly out. And he pulls back a bunt attempt as the pitch misses high and outside for ball one. One oh pitch, another fastball misses high and outside. This will be two balls, no strikes to Lily.
Next pitch, good fastball with some late arm side run. Catches catches the uh, strike zone there, so it'll be two and two the count. Or two and one the count, sorry. Two balls, one strike. Oh, two one fastball gets away from Winsman there. The old just a bit outside quote probably applies there. Three balls, one strike the count. Wind has been working on pitch number 58 of his outing. And Lily thought that was ball four. Umpire said, no, sir. That is a strike two. So it'll be three balls, two strikes to Lily. Here comes a 3-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled, back out of play. Two to one the score. Vandegrift with three hits to McNeil's two. And another 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball looked close but just misses for ball four. So a one-out walk for Lilly. That'll bring up the catcher, Braden Buchanan. Buchanan 0 for 2, flew out to right field, and then lined out on that uh, snow cone catch comebacker in his last at-bat back to uh, the pitcher, Chris Windesman. First pitch to Buchanan misses inside for ball one. Lily with a pretty decent lead at first, and Winism is going to throw over there to check him. He's back in time. One zero pitch of Buchanan is over the plate for a called strike. Oh, late reaction by uh, by Lilly over there as Windesman throws over to first. He's back safely, but Lilly kind of froze on that move as Windesman was clearly motioning towards the bag. Ooh, another quick throw over there with a step off move. And he's back again, safe. One ball, one strike. The counts of the hitter Buchanan. Winch pitch to one guy. A little chopper. No man's land right in front of the pitcher's mound there. But good, good, calm play by the veteran there. The pitcher Winnesman feels it, throws it over to first, and gets Buchanan for the second out of the inning. Lily moves up to second on that, what equated to basically a swinging bunt. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Connor Freeman. Freeman 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fly out tonight. First pitch to Freeman, fastball misses a little inside and high. One zero pitch, good breaking ball in there for a called strike. One one pitch, another good breaking ball, but bounces in the dirt. It stays in front of the catcher Newman, but uh, Lily was running on the pitch, so. He will be in uncontested with a stolen base at third base now. With two outs and a 2-1 count to the hitter, Freeman.
Next pitch, fastball misses a little inside and low. Count will go to three and one. Next pitch swung on a line drive. That's going to get it down into left field, and it's going to get away and roll all the way out to the fence. Lilly scores easily from second. Freeman on his way to third, and he's going to be in with a stand-up RBI two-out triple. And so that triple by Freeman makes the score three to one in favor of Vandegrift. And that will bring up the number five hitter, Cade Cunningham. Cunningham one for two with a single score to run and a strikeout. Swings and misses the first pitch, strike one. Oh, one fastball misses outside and low. It'll be one ball, one strike, the count to Cunningham. Freeman, the runner on third after that RBI triple. One one pitch, swung on, lofted into center field. Center fielder Simpson comes in, has to hold up to not overrun it, and makes the grab to end the inning. So we head to the top of the sixth inning. Vandegrift tacks on one more run here, making the score three to one. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Mavericks when we get back. All right, Jackson Collins will lead it off for the Mavs here in the top of the sixth. Still chasing two runs after that RBI triple last inning. It'll be Collins, Windesman, and Crail to start the top of the sixth. Make a good time on this game, folks. Only 9.01 p.m., and we're already in the sixth inning. And Collins swings at the first pitch and fouls it out of play right side. We do have a lefty up in the Mavericks bullpen. Looks like Tim Calderon warming up. Oh, one pitch to Collins. Breaking ball swung on. Lost a shallow little ground ball to second base. Fielded by the second base and throws over to first in time to retire Collins for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up the Mavs pitcher, Chris Windesman. Windesman 
safe on a fielder's choice, and then struck out back in the fourth inning. So here's the first pitch, ground ball, hits a shortstop fielded by Baker, throw is offline and goes into the Vipers dugout, so Windesman will advance to second on the overthrow as the ball goes out of play. So Windesman now stands to second base on the throwing error by the shortstop. And that brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail. And it looks like we have number 22, Ryan Shook, goes in again as the courtesy runner for the pitcher Windesman at second base. Courtesy runners available at any time should the pitcher or catcher for either team reach base. And the first pitch to Crail is a fastball that misses outside and high for ball one. Crail with a walk and a strikeout this game so far. So he looks at a breaking ball that bounces in the dirt for ball two. Stony Point leading Westwood by a score of 7-1 to one now in the bottom of the 6th. And Round Rot still up by a score of 3-1 to one over Hutto in the bottom of the 5th. And the pitch misses low to Crail, so count will go to 3-0. Don't see... It. Looks like we do have some arms up in the Vandegrift bullpen. As Freeman steps off the motion to second base there, but nothing doing. 3-0 pitch. Fastball catches the outside corner for called strike. Looks like we have another left-hander up and uh, getting warmed up in the Vandegrift bullpen. Oh, next pitch, a late called strike. to Crail, so the count will be full now. And here comes a 3-2 pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. So Crail showing a little bit of frustration there on that strikeout. Not happy about that strike two call. But he heads back to the dugout. Two outs now. Brings up right fielder Brandon Morio. Morio with a hit by pitch and a strikeout. Swings his first pitch. Fly ball. Kind of left center field, but it just hangs up there in time for the center fielder to get underneath it, and that makes the grab to end the inning. Well, hit ball just kind of hung up there long enough for the center fielder to come grab it. So Mavs leave one stranded. No runs, no hits. Head into the bottom of the sixth inning. Score still, Vandegrift three, Mavericks one. We'll be right back.
All right, starting pitcher Chris Winnesman remains in the game here, and he will face the six, seven, eight hitters for Vandegrift here, trailing by a score of three to one in the bottom of the sixth. Leading off will be the designated hitter M.D. Connor. Connor reached both times tonight by virtue of a hit by a pitch and then a single. And he swings at the first pitch he sees and fouls it back into the screen. Next pitch in there, good late breaking ball, called strike one, or called strike two. Do have some final scores. Stony Point defeats Westwood by a score of seven to one, and Round Rock over Hutto by a score of three to one. Next pitch, Ooh, looked pretty good from here, but umpire says misses high. One ball, two strikes to count. One two fastball misses outside and low. Comes a two two pitch. Swung on hard ground ball goes right down fair and down the first baseline. That's going to roll into right field. Picked up by the right fielder Morio throws a great throw ball gets away from the shortstop Vasek and rolls out of play strangely Connor like slid after second base <laughs> head first <laughs> had to go back but he's gonna get a free base in advance to third because the ball Seems like it went underneath a hole in the fence, perhaps, over on that side there. And they're going to give him two bases. They're going to give him two bases on the overthrow because the ball seemed to roll underneath the fence and out of play. And Coach Aguirre is going to come out and uh, ask for some kind of clarification on that one from the umpire. So the ruling appears to stand, and the double by the leadoff hitter, Connor, and then the overthrow that goes out of play underneath the fence results in two bases. So he comes all the way around to score. And that will make the score 4-1 to one in favor of Vandegrift. And that brings up the number seven hitter shortstop, Simon Baker. Baker looks at a first pitch, fastball misses outside and high for ball one. Baker reached safely both appearances tonight, reached on an error and then a single. Next pitch, good fastball with some arm side run there, comes in, catches the inside corner for a called strike. This pitch misses, bounces in dirt, ball two. Last play there was strange. It was a good hit right down the line, first base line, rolled into the corner in right field. Right fielder Morio picked it up and threw a laser throw, but just got away and then somehow found a hole in the fence, rolled out of play. And unfortunately, that turned that double into a double with a two base error that resulted in a score as the count is now 3-1 to one to the hitter Baker. And he swings and misses at a nasty breaking ball there, strike two.
Pitch number 77 coming up for Windesman here in his outing. And a 3-2 pitch misses a little bit high. Ball four. So Baker walks. And it looks like they're going to have a pinch runner come in for Baker, the shortstop. Can't quite see the number of the new base runner on first here. We'll get that update as soon as we can find out. Due up to bat is the eight hitter, first baseman Thompson, or Thomason. Thomason 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. What a bunt attempt. Vandegrift does not have numbers on the front of their jersey there, so can't quite make out who it is yet. Thomason lays down another bunt, but rolls foul. Okay, so it looks like the pinch runner, Cole Wisson, number 17, has come on as uh, shortstop Simon Baker reached first on that walk. Wisson in and in place for Baker. And we have an 0-1 count to the hitter, Thomason. And there's a snap throw down to first. Not in time. One one pitch. Swung out and miss. Good change up there. Strike two. One-two pitch, misses low. Thomason choked up probably a good four or five inches on the bat there. <laughs> Count is two and two. Links pitch swung on, foul back in the screen. Comes another 2 2 pitch to Thomason, uh, and we're going to throw over to first. Another one, pinch runner Wisson there, kind of froze a little bit before heading back, but he's back safely. And the 2 2 pitch, good breaking ball in there, strike two, strike three. Throws him on that breaking ball with late break. Caught the outside corner right at the end. Third strikeout for Wynn has been tonight. That's the first out of the inning. And uh, that's going to bring Coach Aguirre out for a mound visit. Do have an update on the final score from the other remaining district game tonight. Looks like Cedar Ridge has defeated Vista Ridge by a score of 6-3. So Cedar Ridge, Round Rock, and Stony Point all victorious tonight in their district games tonight. Okay, looks like we are going to have a pitching change. Uh, looks like some defensive changes as well.
Senior right-hander number 20, Dom Escamilla, is going to come in in relief for Chris Windesman. And let's see, it looks like... Uh, Windesman is going to stay in the game and head out to, I believe it's center field. We'll get an update on this once we know for sure. Windesman is going to stay in the game. It goes to either right or center. And right fielder Brandon Morio is going to come in to the dugout possibly in preparation for a relief pitching outing. So we'll let Escamilla get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. All right, so relief pitcher Dom Escamilla is ready to go. He's got his warm-ups. Looks like Chris Windesman has actually gone. He stays in the game. He goes to right field. Center fielder Simpson remains in center. James Morio still in left. And Escamilla faces the first hitter, Moore, who hits a ground ball on the first pitch. He gets away. Just misses the glove of the third baseman, Kovar, and goes into left field for a single. Pinch runner Wisson advances to second on the play. So we've got runners on first and second now. One out. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. Number 10, Gavin Shaddix, comes in in place of the leadoff hitter, Jackson Lors. Okay, Shaddix, your hitter, with one out. Runners on first and second. And first pitch to Shaddix. Breaking ball misses low and outside, ball one. Escamilla takes a long look at both runners. 1-0 pitch, misses high. Ball two. Well, the pitch misses high and inside this time, so it'll be a 3-0 count to the pinch hitter Shaddix. Third baseman Hudson Lilly on deck. 3-0 pitch. In there for called strike. So we do have a couple arms up in the Mavericks bullpen. Three one pitch. Misses low, ball four, and that's gonna load the bases.
Yeah, so we got a right-hander, Ryan Schneider, and left-hander, Brandon Moria, who just came in out of right field, also warming up. And number two hitter, Hudson Lilly, stands in now with bases loaded and one out. And first pitch misses outside for ball one. So we've got Wisson, the runner on third, Baker at second, and Moore at first. And the pitch is lined into shallow right field, fielded by in the air by Windsman. But it's going to be deep enough for Wisson to tag up from third and come around to score. So a sack fly by Lilly. Brings another run across, makes the score five to one Vandegrift. And with two outs, runners on first and third. That's gonna bring up the catcher Braden Buchanan. Buchanan over three tonight. And the runner from first goes. Pitch is swung on, lined over the head of the third baseman and into left field for a single. That's gonna bring in another run. And that will make the score six to one Vandegrift. Six one Vandegrift now, runners on first and second. And that's gonna bring up the pitcher Connor Freeman. And we have another courtesy runner in place of the catcher Buchanan who just reached first on that single. Once again, don't have a number yet. We'll have to Update you on that as soon as we can see it. First pitch to Freeman. Fastball in there, called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch gets away from the catcher, Newman, rolls back to the screen, and that's going to allow both runners to advance one base. So runners on second and third now, two outs, and a 1-1 count to the left-handed hitter, <coughs> Freeman, who had a triple in his last at-bat back in the fifth inning, as well as a ground down to fly out tonight. Nice pitch, good breaking ball in there, looked at, called strike two. One and two, the count to Freeman. Yeah, next pitch swung on, fly ball into the gap in left center field. Morio is over there, he's going to get over his head. And that's going to allow two runs to score as both runners were running with two outs on the fly ball. Freeman's in with a double, two RBIs. And that's going to make the score 8 to 1, Vandegrift. And we've got another courtesy runner coming in for Freeman, number 8, Beckett Kramer, now stands at second base in place of the pitcher Freeman, who had that two RBI double. And two-way now, runner on second, brings up Kate Cunningham. Cunningham one for three tonight with a strikeout. Our single run scored and flew out to center field. And he swings the first pitch and grounds it sharply fouled on the third base side. On one pitch, fastball misses high and out, ball one. Oh, 
One one pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. One two pitch swung on. Fly ball into the gap in right center field. That's going to get down for a single. Another run's going to score from second. And that RBI single by Cunningham now makes the score 9 to 1, Vandegrift. And with that hit, the Vipers have batted around here in the bottom of the sixth. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. So number nine, Asher Mueller comes in and will hit in the number six spot in place of the designated hitter, M.D. Connor. First pitch to Mueller, bounces and gets away from the catcher, Newman, and that will allow Cunningham to advance easily to second base. One and another count to Mueller. Next pitch misses outside and low, ball two. Comes a 2-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Two one pitch misses high. That'll be three balls, one strike to the pinch hitter Mueller. Next pitch in there, called strike on the outside corner. Full count now, two outs. Cunningham, the runner on second. Three two pitch in there, called strike three. So that strikeout will end the inning, but Vandegriff adds six runs to their lead. Making the score 9-1. to one. Mavs coming up for their last at-bats here in the top of the seventh inning. 8-9 in the top for the Mavs. We'll be right back.
All right, we got a pitching change for the Vipers here in the top of the seventh. Number 23, M.D. Connor, the left-hander, comes in in relief for Connor Freeman. And he will come in with a comfortable 9-1 lead and face the number eight hitter to lead off this inning, James Morio. Morio looks like a first pitch breaking ball, misses outside for ball one. Morio with a strikeout and hit by pitch this game. And he swings the next pitch, fouls it out of play. One one pitch to Morio, fights off an inside fastball, fouls it. It'll be one ball, two strikes to Morio. He'll be followed by the catcher Wyatt Newman. And then back to the top of the order with Ramsey Simpson. As the Mavs looking to get some base runners here to try to start chipping away that eight run lead. Next pitch breaking ball misses a little outside. Two and two the count to Morio. Next pitch to one guy, a little sock round ball. First baseman fields it, takes it himself for the first out of the inning. They'll bring up the catcher Wyatt Newman. Newman looking for his first hit tonight as a fly out and a strikeout. First pitch breaking ball misses a little low and inside. Next pitch fastball misses outside. Ball two. Two oh pitches in there for a called strike. Two one pitch to Newman, fastball caught the outside part of the plate. Called strike two. Comes a two two pitch, breaking ball, late call by the umpire. It's called strike three. So two way, Mavs down to the last out. And it will be upon Ramsey Simpson here to try to keep this game alive. Simpson with a line out, fly out, and a walk this game. Simpson checks the swing on a first pitch high fastball there, holds off for ball one. Next pitch just misses a little bit outside. Two balls, no strikes, counts to Simpson. Big swing and a miss on a 2-0 fastball in there. Count goes to 2-1. Pitch swung on, ground ball fielded by the shortstop Baker, throws over to first in time to get Simpson, and that will end the inning. And that will end the game as well. So, close game till the sixth inning. Vipers broke it open with a six run bat around in that sixth, and that just kind of put the game out of reach for the Mavs here. Final score, Vandegrift nine, McNeil one. Thanks everyone for joining us here tonight. Join us again next week. Mavs open a 
two-game series against Round Rock at Round Rock on Tuesday night, April 5th, 7 o'clock. Be sure to tune in and join us then. Thanks again, folks. Have a good night.